there's a very interesting principle in mathematics um, which is uh, worth discussing in the context of uh, uh, binary heaps because it has uh, a pretty interesting uh, application. So suppose that um, we have a function and we have here's the x axis and uh, this is the f of x uh, axis. And our task is to um, compute the minimum of f of x over some valid interval. Right. And let's make another assumption. Right. Let's assume that we're lazy. Most mathematicians and computer programmers are. Uh, naturally uh, lazy people. They, they like code reuse and they like proof reuse and let's assume that we know how to compute minus f of x. And the question is can we use our knowledge of minus f of x uh, to actually uh, get us uh, the minimum of f of x. Okay, so this is, this is the minus f of x. And it turns out that um, if you think about it um, so if we can find the maximum of minus f of x, right, on the assumption that we know how to uh, deal with minus f of x, so let's say that we take the maximum, uh, find the maximum of minus f of x. Here it is. And we take the negative of that. We actually get the minimum of f of x right here. And it works the other way around. We can get um, the maximum of a function out of its minimum, right? Uh, uh, so let's say that we need to compute um, the maximum of some function, let's say g of x. And uh, again, we know how to deal with uh, minus minus g of x. Okay, so and and the minimum. So the maximum of g of x turns out to be, okay, we find the minimum of minus g of x and take the negative of that. And then we get the maximum of g of x. Okay, so if, um, to continue with our parabolic example, um, so let's say that g of x is minus f of x then uh, if we want to find the maximum of g of x, which is the maximum of uh, minus f of x, oops, it's supposed to be in square bracket. Okay, um, then this is the negative of the minimum of uh, the minus g of x, or simply f of x. Right. So take the, find the minimum of f of x and then negate, uh, take the negative of that. Let me use a different color. So take the negative of this. Here we go. So here's a question. Uh, back to the heaps. Suppose we have implemented build max heap. Can we use it to implement uh, build min heap? Or do we have to rewrite build max heap? just to use uh, a less than or equal to instead of greater than or equal to. And it turns out uh, that we don't have to um, uh, rewrite build max heap because build min heap can be implemented uh, from build uh, max heap. So the, it turns out that build min heap of an array sum array turns out to be the negative of the application of build max heap to the negative of that array, where the negative uh, of an array is uh, the array uh, with every element multiplied by minus 1. So let's, uh, let's work with a, uh, with a simple example. Let's say that this is, uh, this is our array that we uh, want to build a minimum heap out of. So 3, 10, 9, 8, uh, my, uh, let's say 7 and, uh, and 6. So the first step is take the negative of that array uh, by multiplying every element by minus 1. So minus 3, we have minus 10, minus 9, uh, minus, uh, minus 8 here, and uh, uh, minus 7 and minus 6. Uh, 
the next step is to uh, apply uh, build max heap to this array. Right? This is the second step. Okay, so this is the first step. Take the negative of the array, and once we have the negative of the array, we're going to apply build max heap to it. So we get minus three swap minus eight with minus nine. Then uh, swap minus six with uh, minus uh, uh, ten. Okay, and that's it. So, and then uh, we take the negative of that, and we get uh, three, s uh, eight, um, nine, uh, then six over here, seven, and. So we get the uh, uh, minimum heap. So um, here's a simple pseudocode. Um, if we uh, assume that arrays are passed by reference, so to build a min heap, we uh, take the negative of the array, it's called negate array, then apply build max heap to the negative of that array, and then take the negative of build max heap. Let's take a look at the source code. Uh, there's a link in the description of this screencast where you can go and uh, download the source and play with it. Um, let me know if there are any bugs or what you think about it, if you have any comments. So um, this is just the build max heap. Uh, we find the index of the rightmost child and then go leftward until we get the roof uh, sifting down uh, every element to its proper place in the heap. This is the implementation of sift down. Uh, this is a local uh, implementation of swap. Uh, compute the index of the left and right child. Set the maximum value and the maximum index to a of i and i respectively. And then we check the left child first and uh, reset the max v and max i values if the uh, uh, the value of the left child uh, happens to be greater than its parent. Uh, then we do the same with the right child, and if the max i is not the same as i, then we do the swap of i and max i, and uh, uh, recursively sift down on max i. So the next is a uh, is a nice uh, a utility uh, function that checks if a heap is a maximum heap. Uh, it's basically um, same as uh, build heap and the combination of build heap and build max heap and uh, uh, and sift down, except that we don't really need to do any swapping here. We just check that uh, the maximum heap property is satisfied at uh, every non-leaf node. And same uh, for uh, is min heap. And this is a simple test. We define a couple of simple arrays and uh, call build max heap and then use the native assert. Uh, to uh, uh, make sure that uh, the result is indeed a max heap. So let's go to the command line and run it. Okay, so the test is passed. Okay, and this piece of code builds min heaps out of max heaps and vice versa. So there's a simple definition of negate array multiplies every element by minus one and then uh, we this is definition of build min heap that uses um, that uh, min out of max principle uh, right negate array build max heap and negate it back uh, right and then we um, define two procedures min heap and uh, max heap that actually implement those principles uh, min out of max and max out of min so it's a procedure that generates an array of random numbers um, in the range from lower to upper. Then there's a whole uh, bunch of tests that we can run to test our code. So let's uh, run them. Looks like um, the no assertion crashed, so all tests have passed. <laughs>